we wanted to uh, write a really practical guide for neurologists and other healthcare professionals to basically be able to do everything from start to finish to uh, evaluate, diagnose, and treat and care for uh, individuals with memory loss, whether it's due to Alzheimer's disease or another disorder of aging. The uh, idea of the book is we start with a uh, taking you through how do you go about uh, evaluating uh, a patient? What are the different elements of the exam uh, that you wish to uh, do? We also uh, talk about then all of the different uh, disorders. And we don't only talk about disorders that you know most people have heard of, such as uh, Alzheimer's disease and dementia with Lewy bodies and behavioral variant frontotemporal dementia, but we also bring in some Alzheimer's uh, lookalikes, including primary uh, age-related tauopathy, uh, usually abbreviated as PART, uh, limbic predominant age-related TDP43 encephalopathy, which is thankfully abbreviated as LATE, L-A-T-E, and uh, some of the syndromes that uh, we now understand better than we used to, including things like posterior cortical atrophy and primary progressive aphasia and the traumatic encephalopathy syndrome that may reflect underlying chronic traumatic encephalopathy. Then we go through all the different treatments and what is the evidence for uh, the different treatments uh, that we can use. We talk about lifestyle modifications that our patients might want to engage in, such as eating a Mediterranean menu of foods and uh, participating in regular aerobic exercise. And then a whole uh, section on the behavioral and neuropsychiatric uh, symptoms of dementia and being able to uh, educate caregivers on how to deal with those symptoms non-pharmacologically, but also when are medications useful and what are the medications uh, useful for those uh, medications. So in a nutshell, uh, that is uh, the essence of that book. This uh, third edition just came out uh, this year, copyright uh, 2022. And uh, proud to say the second edition was translated into Spanish, uh, Portuguese, and Japanese. So uh, it, it's a book that uh, has gained uh, traction around the world. And we think that the third edition is even better than the second. In addition to uh, talking about um, CAT scans and MRI scans, we talk about how to use lumbar puncture to look for changes in uh, beta amyloid, in total tau, in phospho tau. We talk about how to use uh, PET scans, including fluorodeoxyglucose or FDG PET scans to look at different patterns of metabolism and uh, how you can use those to differentiate different uh, disorders, and also how to use the new amyloid and tau PET scans and how those can be helpful to diagnose your patient. Those uh, newest types of scans are often used in clinical trials, but are beginning to uh, come into regular clinical practice.